What's going on guys? Welcome to Frank's Media and Reviews. Today's video is going to be a discussion slash rant, uh, just a topic that I wanted to discuss with you guys, and that is uh, pet peeves as a physical media collector. Um, you, all, you all know how this goes. Um, you know, I watch plenty of videos of the same topic, and you know, <laughs> as a viewer, I'm like, uh, hell yeah, I'm agreeing with a lot of these content creators that have basically like the same uh, viewpoint as me, uh, just very passionate uh, collector who just um, disagree with how labels are releasing said movies, are, you know, uh, they're releasing a, a diff different type of style, a format, are just movies that are just behind a streaming service. So, we'll segue into topic number one, because there's six to seven topics uh, in this video. So, number one is uh, gatekeeping uh, movies and shows on uh, streaming services uh, and preventing it from getting onto the physical format. What brought that up was uh, recently with Matt, Mike Flanagan, just his, he's trying to get his shows uh, onto the physical format, you know, like uh, Blu-ray, DVD. I don't think there's any on 4K because there is a couple shows um, that are on Blu-ray uh, and DVD, but not all of them. And that's what his goal was. Or that, at least that's what he was trying to do with Netflix. Um, and of course, I understand the business uh, decision uh, why a streaming service would prevent that from happening, but... It still sucks, man. Disney recently released a bunch of their TV shows uh, that was, you know, solely only on their streaming service, and so that was very cool. Uh, but I uh, also another thing is Netflix. They had the first two seasons of Stranger Things uh, released on uh, Blu-ray and 4K. However, like th that was it. Um, so. Hopefully, uh, we will get uh, their shows on the physical formats uh, again, like the entire uh, season or series. Um, but that's just one of the topics that just kind of upset me as a physical media collector is just owning the shows that I love watching on a streaming service. Uh, topic number two is inflation, man. <laughs> The prices for these dang movies are expensive. They're going up. Um, there's a picture somewhere around here that's, you know, uh, it just shows the increase of uh, the prices, the average price of movies, um, you know, last year to this year, there's a 29% increase um, and of, of overall prices, and it just sucks. And you, you can feel it, um, you know, just three four years ago even two years ago it wasn't even like that bad but it, like i understand inflation right it's gonna go up a little bit uh, at least it should but these are like dramatic uh increases in prices of um physical media and that sucks man uh so yeah i i don't know and especially with uh, since Best Buy got out of the physical media game, those prices have definitely gone up, especially like Lionsgate uh, uh, 4K, like Steelbooks. They used to be like 20 bucks, 22 bucks, and now they're like 35, 40 dollars. Um, Sony Pictures, Sony uh, 4Ks, um, those prices have gone up, like literally all of them have gone up. Um, so again, I don't know if it's because of the production, all, everything that goes behind the scenes. I don't know, but uh, I just know it it sucks. Um, and it's, of, of course, um, you know, it's up to you to choose to get those type of movies, uh, the releases. Um, but it's just really unfortunate. And it pisses me off <laughs> to take me back to the good old days, to 2022. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, another one is uh, labels releasing movies um, on one 
box set or one format and then releasing it on another. So for instance, uh, Rocky Collection. This was from last year. Uh, I want to say it was last year. I think it was 2023. Um, and this year, in a couple weeks, uh, Rockies 5 and 6 are coming out and it's releasing on an Ultimate Rocky Collection. And I knew I should have waited because I, I had a feeling, of course, that was going to happen. But it just still sucks, man, that, uh, you know, and and... Five and six are only releasing on steel books, 4K steel books. There has there is no standard edition for five and six uh, as of yet. What the heck, man? Uh, so again, that that that's I hate that by labels. That that pisses me off. Um, uh, yeah, uh, it, it's just very unfortunate uh, that that type of practice happens. Uh, another thing is um, also also really quick is uh, like uh, uh, Universal Pictures. I couldn't even think. Yeah, Universal Pictures uh, putting out uh, movies on Blu-ray only, and then having them having a 4K uh, release like six months, four four or five months down the line. That's what happened with Megan. Uh, you know, I bought the Blu-ray and of course, uh, four or five months later, the 4k came out. Um, I'm a sucker, but I got Abigail. I really like the movie. It wouldn't surprise me if Abigail and, uh, Thanksgiving both come out on 4k later on this year. Uh, again, that would of course be my fault for doing it, but I really like the movies, man. So I had to get the Blu-ray, <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I don't like that type of practice. I think that, you know, it should come out at the exact same time as the Blu-ray, uh, you know, release that 4K because to me, that's just uh, dirty. Like, again, I don't know if it's production or something wrong with the physical or with the 4K transfer uh, why it can't release at the same time as the initial Blu-ray, uh, initial release, but I don't like that type of practice at all. And, uh, yeah, another one that I don't like is f movies, uh, being released only on Steelbook. So like I'm specifically talking about 4Ks. So uh, an example is La Femme Nikita. Uh, this is only released, um, on a 4k steelbook there is no 4k standard um you know sony pictures does a lot of that uh which is very unfortunate but i i hate that because even though i do really like the steelbook designs and you know i got them uh i still think that it's important to have that option for people to get the standard edition and the steelbook because obviously it's a um, cheaper option and people some people just don't like steelbooks and I totally understand because there's a lot of uh, what ifs that can go you know there's a lot of um, possibilities that something bad could happen something like a dent scratch mark all this other stuff that just you know, makes uh, the 4K uh, steel steel book just a terrible decision to make. <laughs> um, so I don't like that type of practice at all. Uh, another one that I don't like is um, movies only releasing on a specific set. So um, example would be uh, the Ring Collection. Uh, first of all, you know, we only got this collection because of the first one. I mean, that, duh. But uh, it would have been nice for Scream Factory to only, you know, to also release the two other movies um, instead of only having it in this um, box set because I think people should have that damn option. Uh, same thing with the Halloween um uh, the last three movies, uh, H2O, um, no, Curse of Michael Myers, 
H2O and Resurrection, those movies, you, can, you can't buy them individually. Um, although I think H2O now, but at the time, um, you know, you, you, you only got them within that bundle instead of an individual release. Um, so again, that's just not giving the, um, collector the option, the choice to either have the box set or get those uh, individual releases. So I don't like that type of practice at all. Uh, another one is international only releases. So uh, I brought this up a bazillion times, but it's true, man. Uh, you know, the Neon Demon, uh, which is in 4K, it's not released here. Uh, Men, 4K released internationally, not released in the States uh pearl 4k only released overseas not in the states um phantasm released over uh overseas uh, in 4k not released in the states i mean you can you can just go on and on and on um again uh i i don't know why i mean obviously there's something to do with the label here in the states and just everything that goes uh, behind the scenes. Um, it's just unfortunate that these movies aren't released like globally. I think that's my main thing, like everywhere. So not just only in Germany or UK, but also, you know, here in the States or just everywhere else. So, um, but again, I understand like the rights to movies and everything. So that's when you as a collector have to, uh, be pretty knowledgeable uh, and getting and knowing where to go for those movies. Um, and uh, the feeling of FOMO, fear of missing out. Uh, good example, uh, perfect example was just the other day, Godzilla Minus One uh, 4K was got a re US release date. Um, I jumped on that very quick. Um, and so that's part of the FOMO. Um, also, another thing is is like just other, just other nice releases. Uh, earlier today, uh, Second Sight uh, did a release of uh, or did a pre order for the the uh, Hitcher, and so they came out with a beautiful collectors or limited edition. Uh, they've been working on that 4K transfer for a number of years, so it finally came out, and you know that set, that limited edition, is going to sell out pretty dang quick. Um, so there's that FOMO, like you got to have it, you got to get it. Um, you know, I, I'm a sucker, man, and so uh, I I just hate that feeling. But uh, labels are very smart; they know how to get. Um, the collectors, uh, physical media collectors on, on <laughs> how to, you know, get them to pounce and uh, spend their money real quick. <laughs> um, it's a smart business uh, with those limited edition uh, designs, with um, with all the, the bundles uh, that kind of goes into it. You know, it, it, they're all they're all very smart uh, businesses and you know, the labels obviously they, they, they do it for the money first and foremost uh, and then the collectors uh, you know uh, mindset kind of goes into it but anyway uh, that just sucks man uh, it's just that feeling so I know everyone feels like that because uh, that FOMO can get the best of you like it has gotten the best of me before and you know, as, as long as you are um, open uh, and, you know, acknowledge, you know, what what you're spending, how you're spending it uh, and not hurting yourself or your family, um, you know, you got to make those tough uh, choices. And so but it is the label's responsibility <laughs> to get your attention and try to spend money. <laughs> I mean that's just being blunt. So stay strong if if you don't if you don't have the money or you know whatever. Uh, but stay strong until you can get those specific releases. But FOMO FOMO sucks, man. 
<laughs> it really sucks. So that is just like a quick video, my pet peeves uh, of a physical media collector. Uh, what are some of your uh, pet peeves? Um, and yeah, guys, just leave it down in the comment section. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you do, I really appreciate it. Check out that tier membership. And uh, thank you to my tier members, John from Let's Talk Entertainment and Media. Uh, thank you to William Driver. And thank you to Insomniac. Um, yeah, guys, sometimes it's hard being um, a physical media collector. It really is. But it also can be fun. And so leave down in the comment section what's been your favorite, um, you know, what are some of your um, favorite moments as, or, you know, yeah, favorite moments of being a physical media collector. Uh, and what are some of the hard uh, times that you've had uh, being a physical media collector? So thank you guys and have a good one.